Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. Okay, we need to revisit the Aurora. Um, apparently last time out we missed a few things, um, although a couple of things I've been told I missed, I deliberately left them because we'd already had them. One of the modules in the Seamoth or the Prawn Bay um, was for a storage module I believe and we've already got that on the uh, the the Seamoth so um, if you have a look here in the upgrades uh, there's the storage module we actually crafted our own so uh, yeah but we need to head back over to the Aurora so let's do that welcome aboard Carol Systems Online Whoa. so I think it's over this way is it let's have a look that direction. Yep, here we go. So we're going to head back over to the Aurora and the big thing that we missed apparently is the black box data recorder that is below the prawn bay um, and uh, we need to use the air pockets underneath there just to travel through. Look at this stuff here. I think we've been here. What are you? That looks kind of interesting. I wonder what that is. I'm just going to have a quick scan. No, it's nothing. I thought it was something we could pick up. But no. I'm going to turn the lights off because we don't want to attract the attention of a leviathan. Although, no my luck, we're probably going to get one anyway. Oh, horrible noises. Right, let's keep off the sandbank. That wouldn't uh, be very good to get grounded. sun sharks and then we should get the opening here in the ship to be able to get up and uh, climb through. So we just want to head straight I think to the prawn bay. There's some stuff I've left in some of the cabins um, but they're things like batteries and water and nutrient, the odd nutrient block and to be quite honest we've got a lot of stuff. I, I don't think we need to go back and pick up every last little thing Which way? Is it this way? It's going to be better. Yeah, we've got to go up there, so let's kind of just park, park the ship here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to get grabbed by those damn spiders, aren't we? I know it's going to happen. Right, let's get this thing out. Uh, no. Uh, is there a side entrance we can go in so we don't have to go all the way back round again? Don't miss anything that way. I'm not sure. I think it really directs you into that main entrance, doesn't it? We'll follow the normal, the normal route we did last time. It seemed fairly straightforward. I think there is a different entrance. I just can't quite remember where it was. Okay, we've got cargo bay three. Let's kind of head 
down here. Right, so we're sort of in the middle of the ship now. I love the dripping water sound. Good. Right, we're down into the watery level. Uh, drive room or Seamoth Bay? Um, oh, I think it might be this way. Prawn Bay. We've been through this cut door before. Okay, Prawn Bay. Now, you have to think, there's going to be something under here that we can, uh, a, a way we can get down underneath. Just want to see what this module is. I'm pretty sure it is a uh, storage module. Yeah, we've got that. I'm not going to pick that up. So let's dive in this water. Just have a look. If there's an obvious way of getting through. There's a gap. There's another gap. Is this a way? Down this way? That's blocked. Back this way? No. I hate these mazes. Anything like this. It needs some guidance really. To be quite honest, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get stuck here. Maybe this way. Good grief. Maybe through here. I'm just going for it now. Who knows if this is right or not? That looks like a dead end. What's happened here? Okay, well at least we've got a bit of air. Oh, okay. What have we got here? Are we are we breathing in this area? Hmm. This doesn't look great, does it? Um Am I in the scenery here? Or is this where I'm supposed to be? Um, it doesn't look Ah, is there a room down there? Am I missing anything up here before I go for it? Right, lung full of oxygen. Ooh, what's this? Black box data. Integrating new PDA data. Now, is there anything down here? Ooh, ah, nice. Uh, number four? Keep an eye on oxygen. I get through here? Oh, uh, what? Uh, oh, jeez. I'm gonna have to go back. Um, this way, up into some oxygen. Ah. Okay. Right, let's have a look. Maybe in that thing we've just downloaded. Maybe there'll be a, a door code or something. Um, I don't think it'll be that. No, okay. Um, codes and clues. Um, you're telling me on this room I never took a ride outside. Robot suit. Cargo bay code. Uh, one eight six nine or 
2679. I don't know if any of those are any good or not. Uh, can we... How do we get back out of here now? I forgot which way we went to get it down here. Oh, I seem to be stuck. Can we not move? Oh, there we go. Is there anything in here that might have the code, maybe? So what was 2679? I don't know. 26... Oh, come on. 679. No. And what was the other one? 1869. I don't think either of these are the right numbers. 18, please. Come on. No. 1869 1454 I don't think these are the right numbers 1454 no 2679 no. Okay, let's um go back this way get some oxygen see if there's anything anywhere else to explore because we're missing something aren't we so before we go through there let's see is there anything to scan or pick up or something there's a PDA here Integrating new PDA. Is there anywhere to get a bit of oxygen? Yes. Let's read that. Lab access 6483. Awesome. 6483 was it? Oh god. Right. Perhaps we can do a better job. Six. Oh no. Damn it. Six. Oh no! <laughs> I wonder if you can type it in on the keyboard. Eight, three. Open door. Lab access. Nice. Another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. New blueprint acquired. Okay, anything to scan in Data here? bank corruption was detected on your PDA. Your technology blueprints have been updated. Let's get some oxygen. Ooh. Good, okay. Anything in here? Anything else? This takes us back through. So there was a different way through. I think we've got everything. I think it was just about those data boxes, wasn't it? Let's just make sure none of this stuff can be scanned. I've got f sample things and all sorts down there. Anything in that lot? No. Okay, I think we found what we needed to. Let's sort of head back through. Well, that's good at least we've sort of managed that section of the the area. Oh, made sure I was recording then. <laughs> so how do we how do we get out of here now? That's the important thing. Uh, so it's not that way. Damn it. I can't remember how we got in here. Down there and then round maybe. I think we just probably came this way. Is there a quicker way outside that I'm missing? Okay. 
cargo, here's the drive core I'd imagine. That's a breach, there's some doors. Um, that's one we've cut through, this is the lab, that's going back around in circles. <laughs> oh, I hate mazes. I really do. Okay, uh, looks like there's a door. I think I did this last time. So down here. Down here. Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark. I'm gonna get lost. Oh jeez. Come on, let me out. No, I'm gonna get trapped. Oh no, I'm gonna get trapped. Am I drowning? Um, oh gosh, thank god for that. Oh, this looks better. No, we can get out uh, this way, I think. Um, oh god, come on. Just I just want to get back up to an air pocket. I'm probably right next to one, I can't see. Air pocket, come on, give me some air. No. Oh jeez, we're gonna drown. Yay! Thank God! Oh, I hate mazes. I really do. Let's get out of this place. Oh, thank goodness. Right. Yep, yeah, let's just uh, get back to our little a little sea moth and get home. We've done what we needed to, I believe. This way. Good. Right, let's just uh, click back now to my counter. Whew. So, okay, let's get home. That's the drive room, probably this way. Yes, up the side of here. This way we went before. And jump. Good. Uh, we need to be up the stairs, which is back that way. <laughs> oh my god, I went the long way around. And how long this episode's going to end up being? I think we're well over a half an hour target, but at least we got through that little maze. I I really don't like those sorts of things in games. If there was um, lighting to help you, that's normally the way these things go. So at least you can sort of follow the directions out. But when it's a little bit vague like that. I mean, I should have my light with me, fair enough. But, yeah, I've got not, I don't have much patience for those sorts of things. Okay. Yep, good, this way. Jump up here. And we'll run all the way around again. So I think this is hopefully, I don't have to come back here again. Hopefully this is the Aurora done now. I can't imagine there being much more. It's in quite a sorry state of uh, repair. And... Hooray! Welcome aboard, Captain. That's awesome. So I am going to head home and I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. So let's just have a quick look at what we found. Uh, so, ooh, public documents. 
What can we learn from the hive mind of Strader? Data downloads, Aurora, codes and clues. We don't want codes and clues. Last recorded transmissions, black box data. So they uh, initiated slingshot manoeuvre around planet 4546b. Energy pulse detected from the planet's surface. Distress signal sent. Impact detected. Emergency evacuation. Pilot and transferred to Captain Hollister. Uh, zero to twenty-five, zero one to twenty-five life pods launched successfully. Eight life pods on the planet. Okay. Human life signs. Maintenance Chief Riley Robinson. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. Blueprints then. So it said it found corrupted data. Repulsion cannon. So we can make that now. Uh, computer chip and magnetite. That's good. Nice, okay. Voice log. Cool. Yeah, I think this is where I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to head home and the next time we'll play the next message from the aurora so thank you so much for joining me until then take care and i'll see you again soon bye for now